We have here some more multiplication and division problems where you have to solve two calculations to get to the answer. Tilly wants 24 cakes for her party. Cakes come in boxes of six. Each box of cakes costs three pound. How much will Tilly need to spend on cakes? Here's where the rucksack acronym comes in really useful. You read the question and understand what it's asking you to do. We need to find out how much Tilly's going to spend. We need to choose the calculations that we're going to use to solve this. We need to find out how many boxes of cakes she will buy and then multiply that number by three because each box will be three pound. Then we need to solve it and check that we have actually solved it correctly and answered the question, how much will Tilly need to spend on cakes? With these kinds of questions, it's easier to turn them into two separate one-step problems. So we're going to start with the first bit. Tilly wants 24 cakes for her party. Here are the 24 cakes she's going to need. Cakes come in boxes of six. So here's one box and six of those cakes will go in that box. First of all, how many boxes of cakes will Tilly need to buy? Now remember this isn't the final question, but we need to answer this bit to then solve the next bit. How many boxes of cakes will she need to buy? That's 24 cakes altogether and they come in boxes of six. We need to do a division. 24 divided by six. And if you remember your multiplication facts up to 12 times 12, you'll be able to work out quite quickly that that's four. That means that Tilly will need to buy four boxes of cakes. But we haven't finished answering the question because the original question wants to know how much will Tilly need to spend on cakes? We know that she has four boxes of cakes and we know that each box of cakes costs three pound. So four times three pound. We're doing a multiplication. Four times three pound, that's 12 pounds. So to answer the question, Tilly spends 12 pounds on cakes. A common mistake to make here would be to stop once you've worked out how many boxes of cakes and forget to answer the rest of the question. And that's why it's really useful to use that rucksack acronym. Here's one for you to try. Tom needs 32 stickers to fill his album. Stickers come in packs of eight. Each pack of stickers costs five pounds. How much will Tom need to spend on stickers to fill his album? Don't forget to use the rucksack acronym. Pause the video, have a go. So first of all, read through the question, understand what it's asking us to do. We're asked to find out how much Tom needs to spend on stickers to fill his album. We need to choose the calculation we're going to use to solve this. How many packets of stickers does he need to buy? And then we multiply that number by five because each packet is five pounds. Then we're going to solve that calculation and then check that we have actually answered the question. So we're going to turn it into two separate one-step problems. The first part of the problem Tom needs 32 stickers to fill his album. Stickers come in packs of eight. How many packs of stickers will Tom need to buy? To solve this part of the problem, how many stickers will he need to buy? He needs 32 and they come in packs of eight. So this is a division question. 32 divided by eight, if you know your eight times tables, you'll know that there are four lots of eight in 32. So Tom needs to buy four packets of stickers. But remember, this isn't the answer to the final question. The original question asks us 
how much Tom will need to spend on stickers to fill his album. We know that he needs four packets of stickers and we know that they're each five pound. So we need to multiply four by five, which is 20. Tom spends 20 pounds on stickers and just check that that is the question we were asked to answer. How much will Tom need to spend on stickers? Michael is making cakes for his friend's visit. Including Michael, there will be six children having cake and each child will get six cakes. Each cake tin holds 12 cakes. How many cake tins will Michael need to make all the cakes? The question asks us how many cake tins will Michael need to make all the cakes? First of all we need to find out how many cakes he's got to make. Including Michael there will be six children having cake and each child will get six cakes. This first part of the question is a multiplication and we're going to multiply six by six. If you know your six times tables you'll know that that's 36. So we know that he needs 36 cakes. We haven't finished answering the question though because the question wants to know how many cake tins he will need. We're going to cross that first bit out because we've dealt with that. How many cake tins will he need? Each cake tin holds 12 cakes. He's making 36 cakes and each cake tin will hold 12. So we're going to divide 36 by 12. And if you're familiar with your 12 times table and your 3 times table, you will know that that is 3. And we've dealt with that last bit as well. Have we answered the question, how many cake tins will Michael need to make all the cakes? The answer is that Michael needs 3 cake tins. Here's one last one for you to try. Rosie collects eggs from the barn. There are 12 hens and each hen lays 4 eggs. Each egg box holds 6 eggs. How many egg boxes will Rosie need for all the eggs? Remember to use the rucksack acronym. Pause the video. Have a go. The first part of the question is to establish how many eggs there are. There are 12 hens and each hen lays 4 eggs. So the first part of this question is a multiplication and we're going to multiply 12 by 4 which is 48. Now we know how many eggs there are. I'm going to cross that bit out so we know we've dealt with it. The next bit of the question, each egg box holds six eggs. How many egg boxes will Rosie need for all the eggs? Now we know that there are 48 eggs. We can work out how many egg boxes are needed by saying 48 divided by six. And if you know your 6 and 8 times table, you'll know that the answer is 8. We need to check that we've actually answered the question. How many egg boxes will Rosie need for all the eggs? We've dealt with that bit and we have our answer. Rosie needs 8 egg boxes.